Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to uh, Dumb SEO Questions, episode 403. Uh, each week we meet here to review the questions and answered, uh, answers asked on the uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. With us tonight we have uh, Makitaki Wasa. Masataki is webmaster of wasaweb.net. Uh, he's also a, uh, a Google product expert uh, on the uh, AdSense community. Masataki lives in Wimbledon uh, in London. And um, David Razam is uh, a leading internet marketer. He's based in West Sussex. Uh, on the sunny south of uh, the UK. And um, in Brass Monkey uh, territory on uh, uh, Corby, uh, about 100 miles north of London, uh, Tim Kappa um, is uh, a member of uh, the um, Google My Business community. He's also uh, CEO of onlineownership.com. All right, um, let's have a look at the first question we've got. We've got about 10 tonight, I think. Um, it's um, from Zulvinas Lutkevicius. Um, uh, what's the best schema template for product category? Article or custom with the item list? Well, I, I see some um, good answers there. Uh, George G um, gave a link to uh, um, the um, webmaster community, Google webmaster community. Um, and if I look here, Richard Hearn um, also filled that in. Um, and Michael Stringer contributed as well. All right, let's yeah, and, and, there, and there's quite a few schema uh, markup generators out there, which will help you uh, um, run through, you know, your page and, and mark it up. Thank you, Tim. All right, let's um, wander on to the next. Uh, this one from, uh, oh, I can't, um, I, I must translate uh, that and uh, find out. Uh, his name. Um, it's titled, uh, What is the Final Score call Called? Um, uh, if it's not to be known as PageRank. Um, he said, if PageRank is one of 100, no, no, PageRank consists of, of, of hundreds of factors. Uh, um, and he wants to know what is the final scorecard like if it's not page rank. Well, I guess the uh, I guess it's profit if if that's what your website's up there for. Um, or do you mean final score uh, in some kind of Google um, uh, Google um, ecosystem, shall we say? In which case, I guess it's the ranking position, um, but uh, it depends what your KPIs are. It depends what you're wanting to do with your website. Um, or am I misunderstanding the question? No, he's, it, the last couple of weeks he's been very focused on what is like page rank and DA and all these kind of things. <sighs> um, so, no, it's, yeah. But yeah, ultimately, like Ryan, R Ryan says, <laughs> ultimately, it's quite, quite good. Uh, the, your final score is actually where you're positioned on the page. Um, yeah, 
So look, just forget about these metrics, man. <laughs> yeah, I think the question is why does he want to know? I think that's the that's the big question. What does he think he can achieve by knowing that score, what it's called, or you know, what's the purpose of asking this question? I think therein lies more interesting questions. Well, I, I suppose he's looking for for control over you know what um, his outcomes are, but uh, of course. Google's grown up a long time now. Um, yeah, but yeah, but I mean, the focus on PageRank, like over the last couple of weeks, I, I, I just, even if you trying to improve your outcome, still trying to understand PageRank is is, it's like not, I don't understand how trying to understand PageRank is going to help. You, yeah, you know cause... your your outcome. You should be concentrating on what's on your page, your supporting content for that. How all of that is moving the needle on X Y Z. You know, even when even when the Google's tool page rank toolbar existed, you know, ten years ago, I never actually paid attention to it. It was in my browser. You know, you had the extension. It was in the browser, but never really, never really paid attention to it or wondered why. You know, because that I'm trying to uncover that is going to detract me from spending time actually working on my site. You know, trying to influence a page rank of a page is not helping me influence that in the search results. The, the thing is, surely, that uh, page rank was kind of a big thing back 10 years ago. It's how big a thing is open for debate, but uh, it's now been buried by, by Google for one reason or another. Um, but I think you've got to realise that there are loads of factors. There's, you know, traditionally we have this notion of there being 200 factors in the uh, Google algorithm. I, I personally don't trust that. I think that's just uh, uh, just hearsay from that's built up over the years that uh, we take as uh, as we take for granted. But um, whatever it is, there are lots of them. Um, and there's not going to be one factor that's going to give you control over the outcome. So, you know, this, as, as Tim says, how, how much time are you going to spend identi trying to identify these factors in the Google algorithm? And, um, you know, will you find the, the, the magic one, the one that will help you? Well, no, because they're all some tiny part of, of what happens when Google looks the page. So I think, you know, uh, yes, perhaps for academic or personal interest, but not as a, not as an SEO uh, undertaking. Um, yeah. Um, as I say, yeah, maybe if, if you have a kind of personal or academic interest, but I don't think this, this line of thinking is going to get you anywhere with your SEO. Thank you, David. And thank you, Tim. Okay, let's let's move on to the next. Um, from Sharia Shah, um, is it okay to copy competitor URL structure um, containing the the same keywords uh, um, in the URL? And Ryan Jones and George G, they said sure and yes, and that's what we would say too, I think. Did anyone disagree? No, I don't disagree. Um, there's one thing I would say is keywords in the URL um, used to be useful, not anymore. So, uh, um, yeah, 
just keep away, as Adam J. Humphrey says, just keep away from the actual content. Um, you know, that copying content will get you nowhere and probably get you into all sorts of trouble as well. But uh, the, the only fine. Yeah, the only caveat of that I would put is depending on what your competitor is. Because, so take for example, Amazon. <laughs> Now we can all agree that Amazon is probably one of the one of the biggest e-com platforms out there, but their URLs are fucking diabolical. It's only because that that's how it was initially set up and has been built upon like that. So, you know, sometimes you can actually do a better job. Yeah, I, I guess that uh, Shuri is is kind of thinking about. Um, there's a there's a competitor that's doing well. If I if I copy the URL structure, yeah, I know, the, I know. That, but that's why in, that's why that's why I'm I'm just saying, you yeah, know, and that's the, why I used Amazon because most e-coms want to be like Amazon. But what I'm saying is, nine times out of ten, if you're starting out, you can do a far better job in terms of your 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 structure and your URL, you know your URL structure. Now, the interesting question here is whether you would want to do that to an existing site. Because if you're going to change existing site and have that has content and you're going to restructure your site so that it's in a you know, different structure, that's going to be a little bit complicated. You'd have to redirect existing URLs to the new ones that you've copied, the structure that you copied to, and so so forth. So there's a danger in that in doing that associated with changing structures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, as Tim and David pointed out, you have to think, is it really going to make that much of a difference? to your performance? Is it going to make a material difference? And the likelihood is that unless your structure is appalling at the moment, I'm not so sure whether that would make a huge difference. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. And even if you have your URL structures, um, I'm sorry, even if your URL structure is in a bit of a mess, um, you could keep those URLs and but change the UX and UI so that you know the site looks different to the visitor, but you don't actually change the locations and structures of the URLs. So that might be an option. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next. Thank you, Masataki. Jonathan Samuel asked a question titled, uh, um, changing domain name is not a good idea, right? He said, I manage SEO of a site with 20 million monthly traffic, but the owner of the site wants to change the domain. Is there anyone here with previous experience in this? Uh, I've never changed something with 20 million monthly traffic, but there's been a lot of uh, documented failures of this at such large, large sites. So you need to be extremely careful and handle a domain migration very, very carefully. Uh, the last thing you want is the owner or if you're an employee, your boss, um, you know, coming down at you like a ton of bricks uh, because you lost half the traffic. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I'd like to understand uh, the reason why the uh, owner of the site wants to change the domain, but I can't see much reason for doing so. Um, it's uh, 
unless uh, changing the the complete brand of the the business perhaps but uh, it's going to be a dicey thing to do yeah i suspect it's a branding thing um or you know you have a merger or that you know you're going to start operating a new con country and there's an existing company with the same name you know there are all sorts of reasons why um you want to change your domain name um there are pitfalls uh, potential pitfalls but i think as long as you do it properly it should be okay but the as it were the list of potential pitfalls is long so you know you have to ensure that you get everything right and that's the crucial bit you know it's bad planning it's about making sure that um, you have a backup plan if things go wrong Thank you, Mr. Dougie. Okay, let's move on to the next. This one from Jennifer Darby. Um, and she asked a question titled, did Google change its algorithms for medical officers? Um, she used to have uh, three pages that ranked on the first page. The guy I'm paying to help me with SEO said Google changed its algorithms for medical officers. I kind of am wondering if he is not being totally uh, upfront and maybe slacked off on doing his job for me. Uh, does anyone know if this is true? Uh, I'm so discouraged. Yeah, I mean, they, they updated in terms of medical sites, uh, I'm trying to think, two, maybe three years ago. Um, yeah, probably about two. Oh, I'm just trying to remember through COVID and post-COVID, so what? Uh, yeah, it's probably two years now. Two years ago, they, 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 they did, an, um, and I think they dubbed it the medical update or something like that. Mm. So essentially, um, but it doesn't sound like you've been involved with your SEO for two years. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, they did. They did do something like that. Um, a lot of people, you know, it was just about incorporating some things to satisfy what Brenda has said in terms of eat EAT um, in, into the site to make it uh, to, to to make it more credible as a medical site for Google. Um, some minor changes uh, where we recovered some clients was essentially just referencing uh, or making sure that medical licenses, uh, any um, uh, medical research articles were all kind of referenced and properly pointing in the right direction so that Google could understand that this was a uh, proper, um, you know, uh, properly qualified um, business that could operate. Uh, that uh, Doing some of that actually recovered some of the smaller medical sites. Some of the larger ones um, had to revamp some of the content um in terms of uh, a more authoritative voice uh without sounding as if they were trying to push a particular type of uh, medical procedure which is kind of hard to do when you're a bit biased if you literally offer a set service but uh it, it, it was you know so essentially it's just uh, in a lot of cases, it's just updating uh, the structure and some bits on the site to make Google understand that this is a legitimate business, that if somebody uses it, they're not going to die. Um, so, yeah, no, there is there is certainly an algo, but it's been around for two years. So if you're already not doing anything within the last sort of year, and that's when you like sort of took that on, then there is already a problem. Oh, Jennifer does said over the last few months. Well, no, this has exist, been in existence for about the past two years. So if nothing's happening, yeah. And few months, you normally typically need about four years to, uh, sorry, four years, four months to see some, some, some something dialed up. However, if um, 
that's assuming you have you know a fair bit of supporting content on site already that can be reworked um yeah uh brenda brenda please don't mention being targeted with negative seo uh, you know negative seo literally to work takes years on years um you know and and and, and it's going to cost the other person more to do negative seo than it's going to cost you so yeah let's not freak jennifer out that's me done david any thoughts Yes, if I can get this microphone thing to work. Um, <laughs> not much more than what you said. Um, there's, yes, there was the, the, the big YMYL thing a couple of years back. But whenever there's a, whenever there's a Google update or, or a Google update that people have thought has happened, um, there's always talk about whether YMYL uh, sites have uh, have been nobbled or not. Um, I don't know. I don't have any clients in this area, so I don't have a kind of ongoing close relationship with it. But I would suspect that something else is at work, uh, rather than um, rather than rather than some kind of Google nobbling of of. Uh, of medical type sites, um, so I would uh, I would be looking for other things, um, and there are lots of things that can go wrong. Uh, I'm not sure there's not much else here that can uh, can really we can really say yes it could be this, um, but I would be suspicious of um, pointing uh, at a Google. Uh, a Google update. Well, no, that's what our SEO is saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, and, I'm and disagreeing. I'm disagreeing with her uh, SEO. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because that update was two years ago. There was one, yeah. but that was two years ago. <laughs> yeah. And if you've only been cracking on for a couple of months, yeah. I would say certainly at least give it another two. Uh, you should have seen that. You should have seen something like. It all depends on what the site was that this guy started working on. Like, if it was a fairly decent site, it had a fair yeah. bit of, yeah, mute, Jim. We don't want to listen to your old man sneezes. Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> not sounds. We like not sounds here on WCO. Well, my setup is so flaky, I'm not going to click mute. Um, <laughs> the, I, I clicked the, to turn the camera off last week and turned the whole uh, um, recording <laughs> off. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. No, yeah, I coughed. Sorry about that. I'm just joining in. <coughs> no, it's... Um, yes, it depends, doesn't it, on the, on this thing. Um, it's, uh, it's unclear here whether the... Um, whether the SEO help um was presiding over the uh over the the ranking that uh, that went down um or whether he or she came along later um and is trying to oh hang on she hang on hang on hang on she anchorage pediatric dentistry she's uh, she's put oh. the thing in there where did that come from anchorage. oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. 
What are, what are we waiting on at the moment? Well, I was just having a look at uh, Anchorage Pediatric Dentistry because uh, Tim discovered it somewhere. So, uh, um, well, I haven't run it through any tools, but there's a fair amount of content on it. Yeah, actually, I, yeah, there is. There's some, some fair, fair bit of decent, but... Uh, uh, a lot of the basic stuff, like just doing, like I always just do a site query just to see, give me a rough idea on, on, on the site, like in terms of the structure, titles, things like that. And none of it is, none of it fits any particular format. Like, like your top line pages are great. Like for example, it'll say, <coughs> uh, it, it, it'll be something like, you know, uh, no, so, no, it so, doesn't make sense, man. No, some of it's not great. Like broken tooth one, for, for example, you've got broken tooth, uh, tooth is, you know, and, thing, and then you've got Anchorage Pediatric Dentistry call, fine. But then why don't you have the same kind of thing for a bitten cheek or cavity like cavities or you know yeah like to me it's just a little bit it's unloved I, I, I'd, like after two months i would have thought this should have been sorted out uh you've got tags which are are visible in search, which, you know, you're just detracting and you're just. <sighs> yeah. No, I would say after two months, this should have been slightly tidied up by now. Uh, it just from a basic, like literally the basic stuff. Um, so where did they appear for? Uh, I just want to do a quick uh, change myself. Where is Anchorage anyway? Is that freaking? Is, is that America? What is that? It is America. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Right. Right. So I've changed my geo to. So let's just say pediatric. Well, they're positioned two in the in the local pack, um, which is good. And you're three, four, five, five in the David. Your keyboard, mate. Okay, sorry, I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so look, I mean, in terms of that, searching in Anchorage just for pediatric dentists, you are like literally there. Um, no, you know, I think I think that's that, that's all right. Um, you know, there's some tidying up that can certainly be done on the site. That's for sure. Um, you haven't posted anything in GMB since December. I would probably, you know, um, get something going. Uh, you've got some good reviews. Uh, you're responding to all of them. Nice. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, Just be, while Tim was thinking there, we're just being joined by yeah, um, Micah Fisher Kirshner. Micah is the um, head of uh, a, a SEO uh, a meetup group um, in, just close to Silicon Valley. Yeah. Micah uh, um, is the head of SEO for Turn River Capital in the, in the United States. We're up to um, question five on our run list, uh, Micah. So whilst uh, Tim was uh, was going through the site, I, I popped uh, the site into SEMrush, and there's a load of stuff here that they're uh, ranking for, uh, first page. Mm -hmm. um, so I would think that... Um, the site's doing pretty well and yeah as yeah there definitely are things, yeah and as there are things that could be put right i think it could do a lot better as well yeah yeah totally yeah totally and um like uh your your local business your um medical clinic uh yeah your schema markup there is just not right so yeah look there's there's refining that can be certainly done on the site um if this hasn't really been touched, like it's only been two months, I would say that probably not the greatest people to be working with. Just gut feeling from me. Uh, I mean, quite like I don't know what they were doing, but gut feeling if it's been two months uh, and just these basic, basic issues like errors, little things that aren't done um which should have been done like let's say in the first 10 hours then yeah i'm saying look for someone else so um in anchorage uh, another family starts begins to starve and waste away in Anchorage, another family. No, another fucking dodgy local SEO goes out of fucking business. Fuck them. <laughs> but to be fair, Jim, but to be fair, we both know that this is probably being handled by somewhere in Asia. So look, come on, man. With this, as a profession, we need to up, you know, have higher standards. And, and we need to stop the shit. People, you know what I mean? We're, we're aged. We're aged now. It needs to be better. Yeah, yeah, well, that's true. All right, let's move on. Um, here we go. We're on to number six on our run list. It's from Mao Esma. Moving to a hosting provider located in a different country. Um, Mao said, um, hi, I'm curious to know if someone has experienced a massive drop in organic traffic uh, due to moving to a hosting provider with a server located in a different country. I found the uh, best web hosting deals, 40% cheaper, uh, with servers located uh, in America. But my current uh, server is located in Australia for my .com.au site. I read this article and it seems that Google does not really care much um, where the host server is located as long as uh, it can uh, load my site fast. I appreciate your experiences and opinions on this topic. Thanks. So I think that's kind of the key thing um, to the point. Uh, is the site loading fast for your users in America? Um, or is it a, a stroke? You know, 
um, yeah, it may be cheaper, but uh, if they d they haven't uh, got a CDN and it's not being set so that it runs fast for where the majority of your users are, that may be the reason for your loss of traffic because guess what? People are not able to load the site. So you want to make sure um, that the server that you've gotten for cheaper is actually only working for the, lo for the area that it's in and, and uh, making sure that it, it's expanded to be running fast in your location. So I think that's probably more of what you need to check. So if you have an analytics tool um, like Google Analytics uh, or, you know, that's, that's you, you can kind of see one of the content sections um, how the site loads doing there. You can always up that amount from the, I think, defaults like 10, uh, 1 or 2%, up at higher if you want a larger percentage of your users being tracked on how long it takes for pages to load. Um, that That's probably going to be key to, to double check. Um, and that's not assuming there are other potential issues outside of that, but that would be one of the first things uh, I would check when you know, changed up your hosting. Yeah, uh, I think Mike is completely right there. The, the thing is, how much are you likely to save um, and how much time is it going to take you to uh, to get it uh, moved to the the new uh, the new hosting and checked that it's uh, it's all right and it should be working exactly how it was on the previous hosting. Um, so I, I I say that with feeling because um, I'm just going through a site at the moment that has um, been moved from one host to another and. There's just a whole list of little bits and pieces that are irritants that's, that have taken me a few hours to go through as I, as I found more and more of the little irritants. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm not sure I, I would be that keen on uh, moving to save money. I think you need to, I need to think about, is it going to be fast and reliable? Um, I think your 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 idea of saving forty percent is possibly misguided. Yep. Anybody else? Okay, let's go to number seven on our run list. It's from Kunjal Chorwen. Uh, he said, um, it's titled, uh, Should Your Main Content Be Visible uh, in the First Scroll? Um, Kunjal goes on to, to ask, yeah, how important is it that your main content should be visible in the first scroll? A postscript, uh, for example, I have attached an image from Google's cache of search engine of a search engine journal article, um, not to fire shots, but I think this might affect SEO. And at times, the, the main header navigation menu is repeated, so the content is now farther than it could have been had the main uh, header at nav menu uh, not been... Um, if, if the main header nav menu was not repeated. Yeah, um, as Richard Hearn said, there's no such thing as a dumb question, only dumb silence. Um, yeah, um, is that, is that the, our answer for uh, uh, Kunjo? Richard uh, obviously had a, a, a long conversation there. Yeah. And Michael Martinez. All right. Let's um, go to the next. 
Karen Karunish Kathuria asks a question title. I have a website which is not ranking in Google. Uh, Karen has said, hi, I have a website which uh, has a good domain authority, DA, and good page authority, PA. And, of course, these the are just a, a, a commercial metric uh, from uh, Moz. Um, he said, I have uh, put on content, and Google crawls it uh, frequently, I have about 10,000 quality backlinks, um, but no ranking of the site in Google. I checked the domain is not banned. It is good, but still Google is not giving it uh, any rank. Um, what should I do? Thanks. You should build a decent site with good content, and many relevant pages. Um, you've got a one-page site, as far as I can see here, uh, which is full up with rubbish content, to be blunt. Um, so um, I don't think there's any reason to believe this this site should, uh, should rank. Um, and I think that the fact this has supposedly good domain authority etc etc just proves um how rubbish they are <laughs> as guidance for um how good a website is um you know I, i'm sorry i don't like to be rude um i am rude quite often but i don't like to be rude on dumb seo questions because i don't think people come on to to be uh being rude to but this is rubbish there's no two ways about it. So um, build build a good site. Build something that is useful to people. Don't have a feeling that uh, there's a there's a niche, uh, a keyword niche to be exploited. Um, I have a feeling that uh, that's what's going on. Although it does say bond cleaning services. Perhaps there is a company here, but is there any is there any evidence of this being a company? Um, no, it, it, it is rubbish. I um, don't think I'm going to say much more. Must be quite close to you, Jim. <laughs> the location, at least. Yeah, yes, uh, on, on the Gold Coast. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure that, that they have a physical presence here on the Gold Coast. Um, it's more likely, to, uh, would, as, as David says, it, it tends to indicate that the site... Um, exists to gather leads and uh, leads which will be passed on for a profit to uh, the actual people who would come along and do the bond cleaning. It's yeah. quite enough uh, bond cleaning, guys. Have you ever, ever uh, had, had someone do it for you? We shared my son Blair, um, a bond clean of his, um, um, his, his unit for, for his birthday present um uh it um it, it they come along and and they yeah down to a fine tooth comb that they, uh, they make everything spotless um yeah, oh, that's yeah. interesting because uh i i thought that bond cleaning services was supposedly a company not a not an activity i'd never heard of bond cleaning before uh -huh. um, Maybe it's a, a, a bit of terminology that we don't have in the UK, but whichever way, um, it, well, I don't know, whichever way, I think you just proved that uh, it's um, it's pretty crap. Yeah, and the, the US crap. side, it, the way, the US side sounds like bond cleaning, so, um, and given our uh, our uh, affinity for James Bond, it might have a bit of a different meaning. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, as David said, um, the, the the page is a collection of gibberish. But moreover, what's the point of this page? That's what I didn't get. There's no telephone number. You know, let's say you want sort of cleaning service to come around and do it for you. 
Okay, so who who are you going to call? It just doesn't seem to make any sense to me. I mean, what's the point of this page existing? Why would anyone want to visit this page? There doesn't seem to be any reason for anyone to come to this page. <laughs> yes, then I agree with you, Mr. Taki. Right, well, we'll move on to the next. Vishal Gupta asks the question, setting up the canonical when splitting a long page. Uh, he goes on to say, if a previously long page is split into two pages, one with the original URL and a paginated page with a new URL, should the paginated page be canonicalized to the original page? Now this is a this is a strange one. Um, I, I'm going to I'm going to skip away from the the, the question because I, uh, I I'm concerned that uh, that you should go uh, and split a piece of content up like this. Um, if it's if it's good stuff, um, you should keep it as one piece because. Uh, in a lot of cases, uh, longer, good quality content performs well. Um, you say a bit further down here in, in your uh, response to Perry um, that, oh no, hang on, uh, yeah, your second one here, where you said the content seemed to be excessively long. Um, there's, there's this worry, oh, people won't read it. Um, well, people do read it the people who you want to read it will read it um so unless you've got some real good um evidence uh for it being too long rather than your gut feeling or someone who is a so-called expert saying people don't read long content uh you should be keeping this as one piece you shouldn't be messing about um, you know, for one thing, you're you're not helping the user experience by putting an extra click in there. Um, so I don't think you should be doing this in the first place. Um, and to answer your question, um, no, you shouldn't be canonicalizing to the to the first page because um, because the content on the two pages is different. Or at least I hope it is. I hope that you didn't you you didn't repeat the uh, the the content twice on the page and then cut it in half so uh no you shouldn't ca canonicalize and uh you shouldn't be doing it in the first place um as far as i can see excellent all right let's um uh, wrap um, uh, our recording up for the uh, evening because i know that when i this link we're at the thank you for watching time um thanks to you guys your, your contributions uh make, make um Damasio questions such a, a valuable resource um and the the effort involved the, the front up every week yeah uh, is uh, it's laudable um look at tim capper he got got up got up from his uh, Com ID deathbed to get along to us, or is it maybe it was us that kept him alive? Who knows the, the, the real answer here? Um, <laughs> all right, and maybe the, we I, pushed him to his deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> Tim says yes. <laughs> All right, and look, I must also thank people like Brenda Malone um, and um, uh, Michael Martinez, Michael Stricker, um, people who uh, answer the questions uh, on, a, on a daily basis. Uh, um, 
to, to the point where I saw a, a, a comment from 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 a uh, um, a, a person on um, uh, I'm not sure if it was actually on our, on our community yeah, on on Facebook or just in the in the stream, but uh, he said I've, I've asked this question on Dumb SEO questions. Um, it's been half an hour and I haven't had an answer yet. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, let's uh, let's uh, click this button. Well, when I do, no, that's that's wrong. It's out here somewhere. There it is. We'll be back at the same time next week yeah, to do this uh, all again. Um, but uh, for now, it's um, good night.